Hello, Longaburger, and welcome to the Sunday Social. You're in my kitchen. This is where I love to be on the weekends. Welcome to my home in Houston, Texas. My name is Christine Zell. I'm an L Daily host, which I'm so excited about because I just love these products and sharing how I'm using my favorite Longaburger products. I'm also a stylist, so if you ever have any questions, please reach out. I would love to connect with you. And I just really appreciate the quality of these products, the fact that they are made in America, and they really make your home just come to life. Okay, so our temperatures here in Houston went from like 90 to 80, so I'm calling it a cold snap, and I am in the baking mood. I'm actually originally from Minnesota, so fall baking in the kitchen after the apple orchard, bringing the hall home from the apple orchard and creating our favorite dishes. Oh, the nostalgia, I love it so much. And now teaching my children to cook and to bake and creating those warm memories that I have and recreating them with my children is so special and I'm just really privileged and honored and I'm so grateful that we get to keep these traditions alive and in a really fashionable, functional way, because I really believe that we do eat with our eyes, and when it comes to baking and cooking, having the right pieces will really help you get the job done well. Now, I'm not a great cook, I'm not a great baker, but when I have the right tools, I feel more confident and ready to tackle the task. So today, I thought it would be fun to share with you some of my favorite recipes and favorite products when it comes to getting the job done in the kitchen. This is the Sunday Social, so each day on the L Daily, we go live at noon Eastern, and each day has a different theme. So today, Sunday, is Social Sunday because we think about gathering around the table with our loved ones. Hopefully on the weekend, you have an opportunity to slow down, to get into the kitchen, make some of your favorite recipes, relax and unwind. I find it so relaxing to be in the kitchen. I really love, I feel like maybe because I'm a control freak, this is the one thing I can control between the chaos and crazy of the dog and the kids. <laughs> um, but I, I love the Sunday social here because this is where you come on Sundays to find new recipes and cool how-tos for building a charcuterie board or the perfect sangria or whatever it may be. So when you gather with those that you love, you have some fresh ideas and fresh recipes. So in my house, my husband's parents live down the road. We love to get together on Sundays. We'll watch football this time of year. We'll cook in the kitchen together and have a nice Sunday supper. I love that tradition of being together as a family on Sundays. So I thought apples are in season. There's no apple orchard nearby where I am, but being from Minnesota, this time of year is all about the apple orchard. And I wanted to teach my kids some of my favorite recipes. So this is my apple bread that I might have left in the oven just like two minutes too long. <laughs> it's a little done, but here's the deal, guys. First and foremost, this is our teak wood cutting board from Longaburger. Look at how gorgeous this is. Beautiful wood. You can see the striations of the light and dark and really rich tones to this. It has a handle, so if you love to style with the cutting board, you can hang it. I know that's such a look right now to hang your cutting boards on a wall. Uh, you can prop it up like I like to do, but even just for serving, it's so easy to grab. What I love about this is it's a really nice size for prepping. So I took two Gala apples. You can take two Fiji apples. I peeled them, I cored them, and then I just did really thin slices. And then I put it in the pan with some coconut oil. You can do olive oil, butter, and saute the apple slices. You're gonna set those off to the side set your oven at 350 degrees and then i like to use parchment paper in my pan by the way speaking of bakeware i did not use this one today but i love this one and i promise to bring you an apple crisp my favorite i think i might be more team apple than pumpkin now that i hear myself speak but this is our 1973 bakeware collection it's vitrified pottery so it's freezer microwave dishwasher safe made in the USA. I love the linen color because it matches my cabinets, but there are other colors to choose from as well. This also comes in a loaf pan, so if you are doing breads, meatloafs, banana breads, I love that one because of that vitrified pottery, quality, quality, even baking. I probably would have had more success had I used the loaf pan, but this is the medium size 
and then there is a large as well. So I wanted to show that to you. Great bakeware in our collection at Longaberger. So using that loaf pan, lining it with parchment paper or greasing that pan, you're going to put those apples to the side, as I mentioned, and then I'm gonna give you everything you need to know. Okay, so here's the bread mixture. I used three eggs, then I combined it with a half a cup of applesauce, and then a half a cup of maple syrup, and a half a cup of whatever milk. I used almond milk because I'm dairy free. And then two tablespoons of melted coconut oil or butter, and then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So in a, a large bowl, you're gonna mix together the eggs, the maple syrup, uh, all the things, applesauce, the milk, and the oil, and the vanilla. So mix that all up with a whisk or your KitchenAid mixer. And then in a smaller bowl, like a medium-sized bowl, I am dairy and gluten-free, so I'm just gonna give you my gluten-free version, but you can use whatever flour you like. I did one cup of almond flour and a half a cup of tapioca flour and a teaspoon of baking soda. So whatever you wanna do for whatever bread base that you like, you're gonna take the flour, dump it in with the applesauce and the maple syrup and the eggs. You're gonna get that nice base for the bread. So in the pan, you're gonna layer half of the bread mix and then you're gonna take half of your apple saute. So I did two large gala apples. You could do whatever you want. That's what I used. And I used half of the apple mixture. So there is going to be apple mixture in the middle of the loaf. Then pour the rest of the batter over the apples and then top it with more apples. And then you have that apple bread. The kids will be coming home from school shortly. I love to serve on this cutting board as well. So they have that centerpiece when they come home from school. Here's the bread, it smells delicious. You can see the apples there in the center. Oh, I don't know, they really melted in there. Where are they? They're in there somewhere. <laughs> so when they come home from school, I love when they have something just to feast on or today being Sunday, a little snack while football's on. I can just bring this up to the TV room where everyone's watching the game serve them some apple bread as a snack. This is great as a centerpiece on your Sunday supper table if you love to present a bread or a dessert. This is something really great that I love to mention on throughout the week. So maybe you want a double batch. This is the apple bread. Um, as I mentioned, when my kids are coming home from school, however I wanna present it, I love presenting it on the charcuterie board. It just looks really great. And I like the rustic feel of the parchment paper too. I like to kind of actually serve it on there because I think it looks kind of cool. And then you can add extra apple slices, apple butter from Longa Burger, which is amazing. Dip that on in there. Mwah. So, so good. You get the burst and the flavors of fall. You have that nice presentation and the prep with the cutting board. The great bakeware, that vitrified pottery from Longa Burger. And then we have other cutting boards as well. So if you're looking for a larger size cutting board, that's available too. It is the weekend, it is Sunday, I am so excited. And I know I mentioned my kids are coming home from school in a little bit, they're at Sunday school today. So they're gonna be coming home and I will be ready to present them with the apple bread. I hope you like this recipe. If you're on Facebook right now, we would love to hear from you in the comments. Are you team apple or are you team pumpkin? And what is your favorite recipe to share this time of year with your neighbors, your friends, your kids, your grandkids? Is it a pumpkin pie? Is it an apple bread, an apple crisp? I know we have our family favorites, so we'd love to hear from you. And if you do try this recipe, I would also love to hear how it turned out for you. I hope you enjoy it. Happy fall and happy baking, happy Sunday. Enjoy gathering with those that you love. Don't forget you can shop everything in this video from the cutting board to the bakeware and actually even this knife that I used is also available at Longa Burger as well. So we have everything that you need to get you those right tools in the kitchen. Or maybe you know someone getting married and they could use something new for their brand new kitchen. Check out all that we have to offer. Speaking of checking out though, check out after this video is over because I've noticed sometimes these popular products come and go kind of quickly. We've got wait lists and sold out. So just make sure that you do that if you are interested. As it is baking season, I'm just so happy to be cozied up in my kitchen sharing recipes with you today. 
If you want to find me, I am Christine Zell on Facebook and Instagram. Would love to help you shop as a stylist. If you are a stylist, we'd love for you to share these videos to inspire others to maybe take a new look at how to approach our products here at Longa Burger. I hope you have a great weekend, friends, and we'll be back with much more tomorrow on Monday. It's Motivation Monday, so stay tuned to see what we have for you tomorrow at noon Eastern. Take care.